Hello everyone, and welcome back. Alright, well, I reached into the locks that Trekmaster sent me, and I pulled out this leg, um, little kick cylinder here. And it, uh, is called Peacemaker. And when I first got this lock in a package, um, well, I pulled out the key, and, and that's the bidding on the key. It's got a pretty serious bidding on it. And I couldn't get this key back in the lock. I was getting stuck, like, on, I don't know, pin four, maybe. I could only get in about that far. Well, just a little while ago, a couple minutes ago, I was able to get this working again and I got the key working in and out seems to be working pretty good now and uh, it actually works pretty smooth too so we're gonna try to uh, get in this lock and well we'll take a look and see what he put inside of it like I said that is the bidding so it's got a pretty good bidding on it um, let me zoom us in and focus us and let's see if we get in this lock all right, I'll go up top of the keyway. It is a slag. I um, can usually get in there with, I believe this is my Tron from Sparrows, and I usually pick slags in reverse, so let's uh, see what we have here. One is loose, two is loose. Can't think this is pin three. Oh, we got a good faucet right off of three. Okay, that was a little bit off a of two, and I got a deeper false set. Okay, I'm getting some counter here on one. Okay, I think I got him. Okay, got a pretty good false set off a of two again, maybe a drop, not sure. This is pin two again. Counter. Or maybe that was pin one. I think I'm getting some counter here for three. Alright, we got a pretty deep false set here. <laughs> and even deeper off of five, real deep now. All right, let's see what else we got in this lock. Oh, and we broke a pick. All right, okay, and that pick is stuck in there. All right, um, let me see, because I got a deep false set. I don't want to lose it. Uh, let me grab. Let me grab, I believe this might be another brand new um, Tron, it's either a Tron or my Atala, I'm not sure. I'm not open on five, I heard that little click, I wasn't sure. All right, well, let's see if we get my little piece of pick out of there. All right. Let me zoom us out. Oh, there it is right there. Get my pinning tray, grab my tweezers. Yep, here's that little piece of pick right there. I guess I got another probe now. <laughs> Alright. Okay, well we have the key, so let's lock it back up. Let's um, get this clip off. That's a weird looking clip. Let me see, where is the clip? Oh, there it is right there. 
Well, see, I knew this pick would be good for something. There you go. Take that off too. Got some really nice default sets out of this, so I'm expecting some um, pretty deep spools, maybe a T-pin. Alright, let's see what we have here. I think I'm going to have to go this way. Okay. Let me move that piece of pick out of there. Okay, there's all five pins. I got a feeling we're going to have some uh, T pins up there because he plugged up those holes. And we could see there's a lot of nastiness in this lock. All right, well, let's see what this is in here. Pin one looks like a triple spool, possibly. Double spool in two. A very pretty deep spool there in three. Um, I believe that's a serrated T pin. These might be actually serrations, wide serrations. And that looks like a serrated spool in five with a pretty sharp edge on top. And up here we have threading in one, two, four, and five. All right, let's see what we have up here. We have a serrated spool. And we have some uncooperative springs. little copper spring here. All right, number two. Oh, I believe it came out like that. Another serrated spool, serrated on both ends. Another copper spring. We have a standard in three. Almost about to lose that other pin. I think that's a little bit smaller copper spring. Okay, let's go this way. We have a serrated, very small serrated tea pin, kind of like a um, wedding cake serrated T-pin. Springs are kind of all the same. One might be a little longer than the other. And we have another serrated spool. Serrated on both ends. And up here, I know he's done some work because he's been in it, you can tell. And we have thread in one, two, three, four, and five threading in all five chambers all right well, let's have a look at these pins here okay i believe that's just some wide serrations or maybe it could be a triple spool and then we have another one here either a double or wide serrations i think that those are spoolish kind of then we have a pretty deep spool here in three we have this serrated T-pin here in four, and another, well, serrated spool here in five. A very sharp edge on the top of that one, too. And then we have this serrated spool, but you can see the spool is got, um, it's a double spool, not a wedding cake type, but it's got that extra ledge there on it. And then we have a um, another spool here with serrations on both ends, a standard here in three. Another spool with serrations on both ends in four. And then this pretty small
serrated kind of like wedding cake to a tea pin all right and then we have all copper springs yeah I think they're all the same this one in number one might be a hair longer but yeah another fun lock from trick master 30 and again my friend that was a fun lock and thank you for sending it thank you for pinning it up for the community and yeah guys uh well if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any questions or comments comment below and yeah everyone please be safe and stay legal thanks guys bye